Hey everyone, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Marissa behind Damsel Design Co. I thought it'd be really fun to start this channel off with a little yarn unboxing, a little yarn haul. Um, I did some Black Friday shopping on Hobie and I wanted show you the yarn that I got and also talk about some future projects that I have brewing in my brain. Um, so we'll take a look at that and then I'll talk about a few of the things I have coming up. Look at this big boy. It's so big. So much yarn for only a hundred bucks. Seriously, I can't believe this. I'm really excited. Okay. Let's break in. All right. First up, I got this Udon. Let's take it out. Honestly, I'm so surprised at how big this is and at how soft this is. I got two of these because I didn't think it was gonna be enough. I thought that the size of one of these was gonna be the size of two, if that makes sense. But check this out. It's as big as my head. <laughs> it's so soft and it is a, let's see, it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. It's so soft um, and it's a size six yarn. And it's just so, Pretty. Love that gold color. It's like a golden yellow. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed. So my plan for this yarn is I wanted to use it with this yarn that I already have. I want to make another sweater and I want it to be a mix between bulky yarn and mohair yarn. Um, I got this really, really beautiful mohair yarn. While I was in a work trip in New York, I stopped at West Knit Village um, and it's so cute. It's this bright like orange mohair and it's just gorgeous. I had been saving this skein because it's just so pretty. I didn't know what to do initially but I think this Udon is going to complement it perfectly. Right. Next up in the unboxing is these cookie cakes. These are so pretty. I love the dark mix of colors. I've got two of them. <laughs> Let's see, two cookie cakes. Sounds tasty. <laughs> These Yarbo cookie cakes are a worsted weight yarn and this is in the color Bohemian. Um, I think out of my Hobie order, this was probably the most expensive, but it's so worth it because you get like six balls of yarn. Um, yeah, this was $26, so 25% of my order. Um, but it's so worth it. So for these cakes, I'm planning on making a Centro knit dress. Um, I've been seeing everybody making these. I can put my inspo here. <laughs> um, but I just think this will just be a really cute fall, winter-y mix of colors. It'll be self-striping. And I think it's gonna turn out really nice. I. Um, I'm just learning how to use my Centro machine, so I've got the panel knitting down, but constructing it to make the full piece has kind of been hard. Um, I did a sweater top and the armholes were too small. It was just like this big, so I couldn't get my arm through. <laughs> so hopefully these cakes, I can make it work and I want it to be like a long sleeve dress and maybe like end right at my thighs. So we'll see, hopefully I can do that pretty quickly. The central works really, really fast. So we'll see. And next up we have the Amigo yarn. And I got the colors white, black, um, 
Um, and then this is pink. We've got violet and pool green. This actually turned out perfectly. I was looking for a teal color and I wasn't sure if it was gonna turn out too green, but it's the perfect teal. I'm so stoked. And this is a size four medium weight yarn. I'm a huge fan of acrylic and right off the bat, these feel really, really soft. Sometimes acrylic can feel too plasticky to me, um, but this feels really, really soft. And these colors are so bright. I really, really like it. These Hobie um, Amigo XLs were super cheap on Black Friday. They only came out to $1.80 a piece. And I got four, five, six, seven skeins. So that's around 12 bucks, a little over 12 bucks for all of this yarn. And for these, yarns i have a sweater vest in mind um so i was thinking of doing black and white um like a striped sweater vest i was thinking of doing like two panels in the front one in the back um and i want it i want the black and white to be striped and then i was going to accent it with these colors i think it gives it like a funky retro 90s look um I was thinking maybe like putting pink on this side of the sweater vest and teal on this side and the purple on the bottom, um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll put my little sketch drawing right here uh, so you can check that out. All right, next up, we've got really fun summery colors. Um, I live in San Diego, so it's like always summer here, <laughs> um, but I got these bright orange and pink cotton 8-4 yarn um, and my plan for this is to use a pattern by I believe it's Earth by Morgan and she has a really cute bikini pattern so I'm really excited to use this yarn um, I think it was the same yarn that she used at least the same type not colors um, but I'll put a picture of that here and these came out um, for two it was 320 so i spent six dollars and 40 cents for all of this yarn it's gonna be perfect i'm gonna make the bikini top and bottom and we'll see how it turns out i think it'll be perfect for those days where i just want to like crochet on the beach i might not go in the water with this bikini but i think it's gonna have really good coverage um so i got this super fine yarn to do it up next we have a really fun yarn that I'm really excited to share. I got four balls of it because I wasn't sure how big they were going to be. Um, let's see. Where is she? <laughs> I got the Pearly Haze yarn. I feel like everybody has been talking about this. Um, right off the bat, it's so soft. I thought it would feel a little more plasticky or like like foil or like a wiry um that's what i just imag imagined um but it's really really soft this is the pearly haze yarn in the color teal i'm really excited to use it for an upcoming project um, it's a medium weight yarn and it's 73% viscose, 27% wool. Um, and I think that's why it's so soft. It's so shiny. There's so much dimension to it. I love it already. I'm really excited to see how it works up. For this yarn, I have a really cool project in mind. I had a few ideas, but um, I was recently selected as a pattern tester for my little underscore cutie pie. And she has a really cute pattern coming out soon called the pearly sweater. So I thought what better way to use pearly haze for her pearly sweater. I think it's gonna turn out great. And I think I got enough yarn, fingers crossed. And be sure to check out my version of the pearly pearly sweater and to buy the pattern when it comes out. I'm sure it's gonna work up wonderfully. And it's got cute little like 
baubles on them. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. This one is not yarn, but it's still yarn related, of course. And I'm really, really excited about these. These were 77 cents with the Black Friday sale. Uh, I'm really excited for these. I got darning needles and everybody has darning needles, but what's special about these is they have a bent tip. I hate, hate, hate weaving ends. If you see some ends sticking out, don't come for me. I hate weaving ends. I try to crochet over them as I go, but I miss some or they stick out. Hate it. <laughs> um, so these darning needles, they have bent tips and it's supposed to make it just a teensy bit easier to um, to weave in your ends. So like when I'm making granny squares, I do crochet over my ends, but they still stick out. So I like to like weave them in the opposite direction and look how cute that is. Yeah, this bent tip should hopefully make weaving ends just a teensy bit easier. Hopefully I won't hate it as much, but I've got a ton here and I'm really stoked to only get these for 77 cents. What a steal. <laughs> All right, last but not least, I still got a good amount of yarn in here, um, but I saved the best for last because this is a project that I'm really, really excited about. Um, I got a mix of different shades of blue and white, and this is something that I've been thinking about for a long time um, is how to incorporate crochet with other garments um, and I love thrift shopping and like finding ways to upcycle different kinds of clothes so this is what I got it's friends cotton 100% um, cotton by Hobie and I'll tell you the shades that I got so of course I got two in white next up this dark blue color is called sapphire it's a really deep blue and it's just so pigmented um and next up is arctic blue it's a really nice light blue color and the cotton is just so soft um i feel like other cottons that I have used are very rough and a little hard to work with. I really love how sturdy they are and that's why I got it. Um, but this one is really soft and I think it's going to work well for the project. And last but not least, we have French blue. It's pretty similar. I'll do it side by side so you can see the difference of the blues. It's really pretty. I think it's gonna work up really well. Um, and with this white all together. <laughs> and my idea for this project is I got this pair of jeans and it was only eight bucks. So I didn't wanna pass them up for only $8. <laughs> but I got these pair of jeans that are super super cute, but they're just a little too small for me, which is fine. Um, but my idea is to cut them down the sides and then put granny squares on the sides. Um, my inspiration, I'll pop up my little Pinterest board right here so you can see it. Um, but I was just inspired by blues, trying to keep it in that jean themed color, like these jeans. Like these are gonna go really well together, I think. Uh, so I wanna make some granny squares that will go up the sides of the jeans just to make them a little bit bigger so they'll fit me. And I'm really excited. I was also inspired by these like blue and white tiles, kind of like porcelain. Um, and I just think this color scheme is gonna work perfectly. Hobie has so many different colors and that's what I do love about shopping online is I can actually get the colors I want. When I go to Joann's or Michael's, it's really hard to find all the shades that I want in the same type of yarn. 
uh, just so you know how it's gonna work up. So that's one thing I really do love shopping online for. You can get what you want. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video. And if you're interested in following me to see all of the projects I create with this yarn, uh, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at damseldesignco underscore. Um, and yeah, make sure to comment what you're going to be creating in the new year or in the upcoming months. I love to see what everybody else is creating. I get so inspired by the community and feel really lucky to be involved with the crochet community. So yeah, comment what you'll be making in the new year. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon. Bye.